So I am at the MQX show in Springfield, Illinois, and thought that I would just show you some of the quilts. This is the APQS part of the show, and this quilt is made with all leather. It actually won first place in this category, but I just wanted to show you some of the fabrics. And this machine quilting was all hand-guided. Just a beautiful quilt. This is second place ribbon. And then we even have a piece of clothing. Back up so you can see all of that. And this one here won third place. And she did all of the couching on the long arm using her couching foot. But the quilting in this is also amazing. And it's 100% hand guided as well. Here's another quilt that has like recessed areas where you stitch out motifs and then you kind of what I call scrubbing your background. Very beautiful. And I will back up and show you the entire quilt. And we have some other quilts here. I am here with two other ladies that are in the hall over there. They're waiting on me. I forgot to take the pictures of the first sections we saw. This one won first place in Nolting's section. And then nice tree. And then here is second place in the Nolting section. This is the back of the quilt that won second place on the previous side. <laughs> She's talking about squirrels. I <laughs> hate to have my I didn't get it. I couldn't figure it out. So this is the exhibit that's inside where the vendors are. So I just thought I'd show you a few of these photos. Probably not all. It's a beautiful up there. A book case quilt. 
Oh yeah. Here the cityscape is cold. This is the back of somebody's quilt. I haven't seen the front yet. Very nice garden quilt. It actually won the faculty award for MQX. Pretty Halloween quilt. And behind me, and this is the previous quilt that I showed you the back of. Yeah. <laughs> And I just love the portrait quilts. And they look so much more dramatic through the camera and the farther away you get from them. It's just awesome. It's the back of another quilt. So it's going to be interesting to see the front of this. Awesome quilting. So this is the quilt that I just showed you. You can see all the detail and then they've got them in different sizes. <laughs> Just beautiful. This quote is 80% hand guided and 20% computerized. Very nice. Get that camera out your face. Gotcha. Gotcha. Did you see that? Okay, we are in another expo area where they're showing the actual quilts entered into the show. And it is very dark in this area, so it's not very bright. But I will do the best that I can with showing you some of the photos. This one, first place, an edge-to-edge -edge hand guided, and it was sponsored by A1 Quilting Machines. So these are very many hexes. If I put my finger on it, it covers up the hexy. So very tiny. This one won second place in edge to edge hand guided. I'm just sorry that the lighting isn't better, but. So that's like what I told you that they might have a picture sitting there and then they just do the design or they do it right out of their head. So that's the similar to the panto you just bought. Mm -hmm. And then over here, too, it's like this. Is this the same quilter? It's very similar. Uh, Look like it's a smaller see. scale. Of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming up on the quilt that's got the best of show ribbon. So 
So Best Machine Quilting Stand Up, sponsored by Gamble. And just wanted you to see the information on it. And then on this wall, they have the quilts from the AQS show that I showed you by the Lion King display. So I'm not going to tape this section at all. Here's a modern quilt. It's got all straight line quilting. And modern quilt. <laughs> Dressed in plate quilt. Got a lot of custom quilting. Wow, just fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Dory's trying to buy something everybody has. I got class. Dory's trying to buy. I can't even. I can't even get a full photo of this one. It's so pretty. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, these are all It's a pixel quilt. some 3D hexes here. So they have hexes that were just placed on top. This is the back of a quilt. So we'll get there later. It's beautiful quilting. All of these quilts are by Margaret Solomon Gunn. That's why they look very similar. This is the front of the previous quote that I just stated. Was the back? Very nice. This is still part of the Mark of Solomon. Just gorgeous work. This one has crystals in it. Just 
is beautiful. More of Margaret Solomon's work. These quilts are also Margaret Solomon. Totally different feel to these quilts. So after a break, I am continuing. This is actually the back of a quilt. A lot of the quilts, I noticed that the tops are open. And when the tops are open, you can actually see the back for quilting. But again, we're having light issues. We're in an area that doesn't have a lot of high ceilings. So you have to bear with me on the quilting. But yes. So I'm just going to show you as many fronts as I can. And I see my battery light is flashing, so we will probably be running out of battery at some point. I love this pattern. So the pattern is Tea Party by Wendy Williams. Very beautiful. Facts. Okay. At home. Um, let me look and see if I have anything like that. Okay. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, I got a whole wow. stack of them sitting on the iron. And nobody knew what they were. Very nice. Oh, this well, is sale. Okay. Okay. And I think I got a whole stack of like 10 bucks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. That was this this is beautiful. And that light is I don't know. This light because of so bad. Got lots of tiny pebbles in this. And this is 100% hand guided, so that was a long time just doing pebbles. I like the little flying geese track going through it too. <laughs> we really need to find out. Is this a trend? Yeah. 
And I noticed that at the bottom when the quilts were too long, they just rolled them under. At our gill, we would add sheets along the bottom and I see that they've done it totally different. So that's a suggestion for our next show as well. It's beautiful. So I'm looking at this sampler quilt and I'm noticing all of the intricate quilting. I love the checkerboard look here and it's done in a half inch grid. I have seen that before, never this small and I have never done it but just the negative space on this quilting is just awesome. She did a beautiful job. And then here's the entire quilt or as much of it as I can show you anyway goodness gracious more detail quilting double row stitching here just amazing. <laughs> Don't talk about the overachievers. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Just depends on if I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't they funny? <laughs> this is the back of a quilt and they've done some documentation and I talk about stuff like this in my video where I was doing labels and I had one quilt that I had documented the entire front of a quilt. So let's see what the front looks like. So it's an original design on Bible study. All Bibles, all flowers from the Bible and their meanings and crosses from around the world, including the garden of one of the monks from an abbey. So again, this just verifies what I have been talking about as far as documentation, because if somebody inherited this quilt, they wouldn't know what these particular things mean. This is the back of a quilt. This one's pretty cool again. It's got the crystals in the background around the edges. And this is the back of the previous quilt that I just mentioned. This is the front.
control all your well, that's yeah. 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 And this is a whole cloth quilt. I'm hoping some of this detail, there it goes, got in focus. But just beautiful work. And just the room itself doesn't give this quilt justice. You just can't see all the texture, but it is just awesome. And here's another whole cloth quilt. You can see the texture on this because it has light shining from the back. I need to work on this. I think this pattern is called Arcadia. Let's see. It doesn't say, but I think I have a book for this. So maybe this might be my next sew along. <laughs> So I am going to stop recording here. If I find anything interesting, I'll add them. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of the show. But this is a beautiful quilt. There is a new book out that this quilt is sponsored by, Free Motion Mastery and a Mom. They actually have a display here. So I don't know if Scott Mas used her book for this, but the quilting on this is just beautiful. Scott Merkin was actually the featured quilter last year. Now this is interesting. It's an open quilt. So what's holding it is these little pieces through there. I'm not sure if they have batting in them or not. A very interesting design. So this is the label for this quilt. Oh my distance. Oh. And then this is the back. Very nice. So I thought I was done videotaping, but it's just too many beautiful quilts not to document. These rocks, I wonder if this is painted. Very nice. And here is the yeah. label for this it's one. Nice on the back. And as I said, I showed you the Lion King display in the AQS Paducah show in April, so you can go back and check that video. If you're interested, I'll give you a link. You're okay, you can go ahead. <laughs> you always have to have somebody, don't you? Right. That's all right. There's just one in there. They're gonna, my right? people are going to want to know who is that? <laughs> 
it's very pretty. I think this block is in Pat Speth's book. I'm not sure. Let's see what it's saying over here. Yes, it is. Boy, do I know my quilts. It's in her nickel quilts or nickel quilts too. I can't remember which one, but it's there. <laughs> oh, a little bitty one. Dragonfly. Wow. Pretty bases. Mm, just beautiful. <laughs> wow, again. Very nice quilting to create negative space. <laughs> yes, you can take a ussy. Hi, baby. <laughs> I got us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These are the kids can quilt quilts. So every year they have this display. Last year they actually gave all of the children that entered a Janome sewing machine. Again, this is kids can quilt. <laughs> just trying to show all the kids quilts and if you have one of these quilts belong to one of your family members let me know <laughs> really nice kids can quilt so I don't know what I mentioned before about being done I forgot about the quilts that were in the hall and I wanted to show this quilt because it is a crazy quilt look like they cut up some hexagon blocks and use for the center blocks and just piece them haphazardly together otherwise but I really love the quilting because they did something different in the sashing that I have never seen before where the sashing is all sample quilting and it's all different so I really like that Very nice. 
Yes. And this is the back of the quilt. got the quilted flower outline right here and various other places throughout This is the back of a quilt. I'll show you on the front when I get there. Quilting on this is very striking. And this is the back of the green quilt on, that I showed you about three or four quilts back. So what they have done is they've opened the curtains on some of these and then they flip so you can see the back sides of some. So you can view quilts from both sides of the display. This is the quilt with the circles. This is the actual back. This is the back of the quilt. Look at that. Let's see what this display was about. It's about Twisted by Mary Kerr. So here's the information on it. So, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. Don't forget to like, comment below, and also invite your other friends and share this video as well. 
um, I would like to get to 5,000 subscribers. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.